Yeah, yeah, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, I got an oldie but a goodie that I found. Okay, I was late to the party. I'm here now. I have arrived. Audio Cypher, Volume 2. Let's check it out. So what is good, YouTube? I was searching um, ASDR website, trying to look for some new plugins for, to review for y'all, and I stumbled upon Audio Cypher Volume 2. I looked it up. It's been out for a minute, but I think you guys will enjoy it. This is the website, audiocypher.com, but I got it on um, AS or ADSR um, Marketplace. And yeah, here it is right here. The new interface version 2 has a refresh interface and new features, note duration, playback controls. You can type in words, type in any name, idea, or phrase that comes to mind. That's the selling point for me. Choose a key, drag to MIDI. Okay, now, before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you get any video uploaded to the channel. We do reviews of VSTs, VST plugins, effects, all of that. And I also give away free loop, loop kits and MIDI kits to the channel. And we go live. I haven't been live in a minute. I'm thinking about going live. So stay tuned, all right? Follow me on Instagram, HWFloss. All right, the worst producer of all time back here again. Okay, so let's get right into it. Now, I must say... For my FL users, I'm sorry, but uh, it, it won't be happening for us, okay? My FL users, it won't be happening for us. It is a kind of like a standalone, right? So we have to use it outside of FL Studio. But Ableton and other um, DAWs, it works just fine. I want to let you know that FL, don't try to go through all that. I was, I was panicking. It doesn't work in FL. You have to do a standalone. So, bam. There it is right here. So, this is cool for two reasons. The first thing is, okay, I'm typing in any word. Let's think of uh, something that could be a hook. Stack that. Stack that cash. Right? All right. And then we're going to be in um, C minor. You can random randomize the rhythm. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Hold on. Okay, so I turned up the volume. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I got Omnisphere Unclean Machine. I'm gonna do a review on that soon, but I'm just gonna drag it on over, right? And it's supposed to play out Stack That Cash. Now, I will say that it sometimes is off or gives you an extra note. Just delete it and um, or you can double up right here and then just change something. So we're in C minor. Go ahead and change that to in my helpers. Now we should be in key. And we can bring this last note down. Stack that cash. Yeah, stack that cash. It kind of goes along with that, all right? So let's go back out in here. Let's go chromatic, or let's go major. Stack that cash, baby. We're gonna drag the MIDI on over. And like I say, it kind of tails off right there, but that's okay. Okay, and it just generates MIDI after MIDI. This is cool. This is cool. All right, let's go and let's make it um, one eighth minor. Stack that cash, baby. Or bring it home. So what you get is you get a, a melody that kind of rivals like a lead, you know, because it's, it's the lead of the hook, all right? It's modeling after those words. Bring it home. So you get these ideas randomly from 
typing in words, right? It's kind of it, it's, it's dope, it's weird, it's all of that at the same time. You can also randomize the rhythm. Okay, it's not perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's just something cool. It's 22 bucks, so it's just something cool. But here's another, here's step three to it, okay, right? Um, you can say C minor, drag it on over to scalar. Let's clear this out first. Oh, let's just go to a different scale, uh, C minor. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this over here. And it'll read to make sure it's in there, right? So now we got... So now you can come in and add chords to it. So it says D. You can start off with a D. And then I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's so about a 12. So every 3 would be flat. 2, 3, flat. And then end on D. So you can get chords that fast by moving over that and last but not least you can also remix songs so let's say that you have the hook to your favorite little baby little dirk drake song type in the words all right type in the words here so i know um every chance that i get dj Khaled, little baby to dirk find out what key it's in and then let's drag it over to Omnisphere. Now we want to make sure we're on the right rhythm, you know. We do one fourth or you can do one eighth or one sixteenth or half notes. I, the best way to use it was to find something you like and then move it over. So, so I like that. Okay, so that first half is golden to me. And then you can just go ahead and repeat that. get you know some ideas flowing from there so let me know in the comments below will you be picking up audio cypher volume 2 you know it's just cool to see that it models after some text that you're just writing stick to the script or we can say the worst producer of all time <laughs> You can make something out of that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Audio Cypher Volume 2. Will you be picking this up for 22 bucks? It's not a must-have, but it's something cool and unique. Helps out with beat block. Get some ideas random. And, you know, it's just fun. It's like a novelty. It's not a mainstay like Contact or like Waves plugins or whatever, you know, is your mainstay. But it's just something nice to have on the side. And I just love reviewing these little random generated things with AI and these sounds. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, signing off. Join the family, man. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace.